Cook from the Chemical Heritage Foundation and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our chemistry set collection. Most people know chemistry sets as a toy, mostly aimed towards children from the 1950s and the 1960s. But chemistry sets actually started a long time before that. They actually started as a teaching tool in the 18th century, mostly in England and in Germany. In 1917, a set of brothers from Hagerstown, Maryland decided to bring the chemistry set to the United States. Their company, the Porter Chemical Company, created the very first chemistry set in the United States under the brand name of ChemCraft. Porter was eventually joined by companies like Skillcraft and A.C. Gilbert, who's most well known for their erector set, as the primary people, primary companies selling these toys in the United States. By the 1940s, every boy in the United States wanted a chemistry set, or so the saying went. The companies caught on very quickly that they could sort of ride the coattails of the explosion of scientific funding and scientific interest in the United States and promised these parents that these were career building sets. This is a Gilbert set. One side it says, today's adventures in science will create Amer tomorrow's America. The other side of the set says, another C Gilbert career building science set. So these kids really, really promised these parents that their children, by playing with these toys, had a really good shot at entering into not only what was a stable career at that point, but also a very promising future. There's an entire generation of scientists that we know of from interviewing here, them here at CHF who fulfilled this promise. They played with a chemistry set and they became fascinated with the experiments, with uh, the discovery, with the unknown. And they went on to fairly successful careers in science. And when you ask them, why did you get interested in chemistry? A good number of them say, well, I had a chemistry set when I was a kid. In the late 1960s, we see the chemistry set start, uh, start to wane. Uh, in popularity, and this is due to a number of reasons, including the fact that there are more uh, governmental regulations here in the United States that start to govern the types of chemicals that can be made available, especially to children. And at this point in the late 1960s, um, we start to start understanding the environmental repercussions and, and other types of things that start coming up with um, in the world of science. You have um, a shifting in the social understanding and the social sort of respect of what it means to be a scientist. Being a chemist was no longer fun and sexy, as I like to say. The Chemical Heritage Foundation houses the largest collection of chemistry sets held in a public institution. We have about 150 sets ranging from chemistry to physics to math. If you want to learn more about chemistry sets, come and visit us in our museum at Philadelphia or visit us at chemheritage.org. I'm Rosie Cook.